Hey everyone, it's Richard here. Welcome back to Stuff You Can Do in Excel, Tableau, and Power BI. Uh, today we're going to continue with our series of presentations on uh, Tableau basics. We're trying to learn how to use Tableau. This is designed for people who are beginners with Tableau and want to know how to get into the program and use it. So the first part one, we sort of talked about what Tableau is. Uh, and now in, in this second uh, uh, video, we're going to look at the interface. What does it look like? like when you open Tableau and how do you deal with it. So let's just go look at what we've got. So I'm going to click on my icon down here at the bottom. Um, now yours may be up on the screen somewhere. I've already loaded mine to my uh, startup toolbar. So uh, uh, click on that and it's going to open. It can take sometimes a little while for Tableau to open because it's a big program and sometimes uh, just takes a few seconds to get it to pop up for you. Now when it opens, um, uh, if it opens, here it goes. Let's see. Let's try it again. There it goes. Um, so it's going to open up for me, and I'm going to make it full screen. Uh, when you first open Tableau, you've got this screen, okay? And there are basically three parts to this screen that I want to show you, maybe four. The first is the center part. These are files that you can access directly without having you have to upload a data file. They're files maybe you've started before, and now you want to get back. For instance, this is one I've done. Uh, if I go look at this one, I can click on it, and it opens me right, right up into my data file. I can start working with it immediately because it's one I had already saved. Uh, but if it's a brand new data file, uh, you would want to use these items over here and connect. We'll get to that in a minute. For you, probably, if this is the first time you've opened Excel, all you're going to see is these items down here, and that's okay. As you add more files and you save more files, they're going to save up onto this screen here, and you can go back to them directly. Now, if you're uploading a new data file, you're going to start over here in this blue section on the left, and this the connect uh, window, I call it. Um, and in our case, we're going to download an Excel file, but you can download a text file, a JSON file, PDF file, Microsoft Access. There's a lot of different ways you can open files. So I'm going to go to Microsoft Excel. In fact, if we click on more, what you're going to see is you got a lot of different data files you can open from. You can open from anything on your machine if you wish. Um, I'm going to open up an Excel file, and we're just going to open up one called uh, Financial. This Financial sample file is available to you, and you can see it um, just so I can show you what the uh, what the interface is going to look like. So when you open up a file, um, uh, you're going to get an interface a second that looks like this, and this is just a, a, a area. And we'll talk about uploading the file and what this means. In this area, you're going to have some data um, that you're going to, it's going to sort of show you what it looks like, show you what the labels are, let you know if there's any problems with it. Once you've identified the data is okay, you click on sheet one. It's going to take you into your working area. There's a lot of stuff going on here, so let's talk about it. The first thing over here on the left is the different variables that it's identified out of your, um, uh, out of your, um, data file. So it calls it calls this uh, up here. It's got tables. It's got this, and then it's got you know, the blue ones here, right? It's got these green ones. It's kind of hard to tell the difference. I wish they'd done like blue and red. It would have been easier, right? But um, the ones up at the top are usually referred to as dimensions. In, in in the old version of Tableau, you actually had a section called dimensions and a section called measures. Uh, it doesn't identify those that way anymore, though it sort of does, and we'll see that in a minute. Um, uh, so, uh, and the ones at the bottom in the green are the measurements. Usually the ones in the blue are going to be what's going to show up in the columns of your uh, data file. These are the categories or the, 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 the dimensions of your data that you want to view. Uh, these are going to be the actual measurements that you're um, graphing, that you're charting in your file. Um, so for example, I might want to put, uh, and I put product up here in the columns, and I put sales over here in the rows, and it's going to give me something that looks like this. And there's a lot of things I can do with this file. The next thing we have over here are, I'm going to skip the filters section, the filter, or the pages section. Let's look at filters. Filters are kind of neat. Um, filters allow you to uh, filter by something. So if I wanted to filter this by country, I'd put country over here. And then I could just filter this data by, do I want to just look at Canada? There's, there's actually six countries in this data. Maybe I just want to look at the United States data. So I could click on that, and it would just give me the United States data. Right. So I could create, and I can create multiple filters. I could create a filter um, by month, 
okay and maybe I only want to look at January and so now I've got January and the United States is what I'm looking at right um, now if I want to get rid of those because it's a drag-and-drop environment it's very easy I simply grab that drag it off and drag the next one off now so the next thing is what we call our marks these are things you're going to do to the way that the thing looks right um, and we'll get into that a little later um, but that's what this area is here over here on the far right we've got this area called show me show me is an interesting uh, item if it doesn't if it's not showing if it's like this for you click show me and it brings it down these are the different different types of visualizations that would be appropriate for this data. Tableau goes ahead and identifies for you which types of visualizations work for the data you have. So for instance, this particular visualization here, it says would not work really well for what you're trying to show with this data. Um, so that's kind of a useful tool. Uh, up here on the toolbar, we have our major uh, uh, drop downs, your file, um, data, uh, worksheet, dashboard story analysis map and we'll use some of this we use a lot of this but we we'll use some of these as we go through these various lectures down here are some icon tools um, so we've got here these are just basic things like uh, going back or going forward uh, this would be uh, a new data source you can get that by simply going to file and uh, excuse me data and new data source does the same thing matter of fact there's the little icon right there um, uh, this if so we get out of that if we go over here uh, this is going to be um, pause our automatic updates um, uh, I like the automatic updates I don't like to pause those so you can click on that uh, and use automatic updates uh, this is going to be um, for a new worksheet uh, but you can get that just by going down here just as easily at the bottom um, uh, this is kind of an interesting tool this flips the axes so everything that's up in the columns goes to the rows everything in the rows goes to the columns and you get something that looks like that um, I don't know if that's useful to you but you can click it back I could also put these things in um, uh, uh, smallest to largest or I could put them in largest to smallest um, what's interesting there is it's kind of hard to get back out of that right um, how do I get back out of that that particular format once it's been done well then just click on this over here and it puts it back the way I want it I flip it back and that's my original version so it's not real clean once you put things ordered from smallest to largest it's hard to undo that right um, so uh, now the other thing we have is this analytics tool over here so it, add, it allows us to add some other stuff to the uh, data and we'll see that as we go through this so that's sort of a, a brief quick tour of what you see when you open tableau so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to our tableau and in the next video we're going to learn how to upload our data file um, as we've already seen it and we're going to learn how to upload a new data file if we need one